Hello everyone, uh, Data Pioneer here with the Linux Unix Tech Channel and today I'm out on my Farron OS Linux system on the main PC, my daily driver and I want to show you a, an application that I use all the time on my system it's called Time Shift and it's used for backups so we'll take a look at it right after this Okay, I'm out on the web, and uh, I just wanted to take you guys out to a website that I think is a really great website um, to learn how to use TimeShift, which is a backup utility in Linux. Uh, I'm using Farron OS, which is based on Ubuntu 1804 LTS. Uh, it's actually a Farron OS uh, January 2020 snapshot. Excellent to distro, by the way, if you're looking to transition from uh, Windows to Linux, I, I guarantee that you'll love the, the experience with Farron. This website is called ITSFOSS.com. Uh, it's free and open source software. Uh, and there's an article up here that says how to back up and restore Linux with TimeShift. I'll go ahead and put a link uh, to this uh, website out on the video down below uh, so you can take a look at it and go through the steps and uh, it even shows you how to install it on various distros um, for Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Here are the steps for doing that, and that's adding the repository for it, uh, then updating uh, the system so that you can pull in the new repository with all the updates, and then installing it. There's a link here for Arch Linux and Entergos. Uh, I think Entergos no longer exists, though, um, or not supported anyway. Uh, but um, or Intergos, however you pronounce it. Apricity, I've never even heard of. Um, and then Manjaro, of course, I've heard of that. And uh, so that shows you how to do that. And for all other distros, either 32 or 64 bit, you can click the link there uh, to get the time shift and, uh, and learn how to install it and uh, use it. Okay. There are screenshots here as well, but I won't go through all of this. But let's get out on the uh, platform here and I'll show you. Uh, a backup. Now I'm not going to show you the install uh, because that's why I sent you to the website. I've already installed TimeShift. I think I did it through the um, I believe I did it through um, the Synaptic Package Manager. Let me just get in there and take a look and I'll find out here in a moment. It's been a while since I've had it. I've used it now for quite a while. I've restored the system several times just to see if this works. Uh, and I'll show you the setup I have, and it does work very well. And let's do uh, time shift. Yeah, I use the um, uh, system, um, I mean, not the system, but the uh, Synaptic Package Manager, rather, to install time shift. And so I just check that box right there, click, uh, right click, and say mark for installation, not reinstallation. And then um, it'll come up and tell me any dependencies that it might have, and I believe there were several. Uh, and then I go up and click Apply, hit this Apply button, which is now grayed out because it's already installed. And uh, it installed it and set it up. And then once, it, once it's installed, uh, let me just bring it up for you. Go in here and click on uh, Time Shift, T for Time Shift. There it is. And let's go ahead and put in the password. All right, and so you can see what I have here. Um, I have this set up on the schedule, and I'll show you the schedule here in a moment. But um, the system is Ubuntu 1804 Bionic, um, and that's what Farron is based on for the January 2020 snapshot. Um, I have daily backups here. I've got the last five, and I, what I've done is I've told the system here to back up five daily backups for the week, and then after the fifth backup, it goes and uh, replaces the, the oldest one with the newest and so it just rotates the uh, the log of the backups itself. I have this being backed up to my NAS, my network attached storage 
device and um, and so it's off the platform itself in case something happens here to Farron that's not affected and I can restore it very easily now time shift by default does not uh, back up your home folder I back up my home folder using another process you can tell time shift to back up your home folder but I choose not to do that uh, I want to keep that separate from the actual system what time shift is really designed to do is to back up your system itself the system state and all the system files does a great job of doing that by the way I have six snapshots here I have one that I did the uh, O for owner that means it was uh, manually done and that was on April the 5th but since then I had uh, a backup on the 7th 8th 9th 10th and 11th okay and um, and so I've got um, 961 gigabytes available um, on my uh, backup device that I have um, all right so let's go up and look at settings and in settings you can select either one of two ty different types of snapshots that you want to uh, to take of your system you can either use rsync which is one I highly recommend and if your system uses uh, Butterfuss or BTRFS, BTree uh, FS, you can select that one right there. Uh, but there were no tools found because I don't have Butterfuss installed. Oops, sorry. Let me uh, bring that back up again. And uh, let me click OK. Go back up to RSync. All right. There's a help here that tells you how to, you know, use some of this stuff if you're not familiar with it. The location here for the backup. Uh, it's a Sobrant device. Um, I, I misspoke. I think I told you that I use I upload up, uh, these backups to my NAS. I don't do that. Actually, I changed that procedure. I back it up to an external hard drive. It's only a 160 uh, gigabyte hard drive, um, and it's SDA1 on the system. So that's where the snapshot goes. Um, for the schedule. I tell it to take a daily backup and keep five backups. All right, and so it's going to do five backups and then it's going to rotate. And then um, you can check or uncheck the stop cron emails for scheduled tasks. I just left it checked. Um, and then you've got users here that you can uh, also uh, include if you want to include the. Uh, home directory of those users. Data Pioneer is my home directory. You can back up root as well. I do not include those. I exclude all of those. Okay. For filters, uh, you can have include and exclude patterns that you uh, can implement here. I don't choose to do that. Uh, but if I did include the home directory, for instance, I could use these patterns uh, to exclude or include certain things okay so I've got in the minus column I've got all of this checked which means it ex excludes all of these so it excludes the home data pioneer and anything under that it excludes the root and anything under that uh, and uh, also home mysql and varlib libvert uh, anything under that as well for miscellaneous um, I just tell it the date format that I want to use for the backup itself and then let's go back to type. Uh, I click OK here, and it's ready to do a creation of a snapshot. Uh, here's the the wizard is what I just walked you through. All right, and so let's go back and click finish. And now let's do create. And what's going to happen is it's going to go out and it's going to take a look at the file structure. Uh, I am recording this uh, this video with. Um, I believe I'm I'm using a simple screen recorder, and so that's not going to interfere with anything we're doing here. So it's going to go out and look at the file and directory structure. It's going to count the number of directories and files that we have, and then it's going to perform a backup. It does this fairly quickly. It says it has 13 minutes 46 seconds left. I think it won't take that long. Obviously, if it, if it is going to take a while, I will stop the video and come back when it's completed. Um, but it's been very successful so far. Uh, there's been a few times I've had to recover the system for issues. If I'm getting ready to do a major install here in Linux of something, an application, or make a change uh, to a kernel or something like that, I will go ahead and run a backup manually. 
uh, and um, the website that I sent you to that I will link in underneath the video will show you exactly how to um, to do that and um, and then you can run that uh, backup it's kind of like a restore point uh, in Windows if you're familiar with Windows or if you're currently using Windows and so if anything happens all you got to do is uh, since it's off platform all you have to do is install the basic system uh, if you want to do that or you can just simply run a restore uh, and um, it'll restore the system back to the way it was if you can get in if you can't get in then you can install the basic system from a thumb drive and then run uh, the restore to, to completely restore your system very easy process alright so it looks like this is going to take some time so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll come back when it's completed okay we have less than two minutes remaining in this process so I thought I would come back and show you that it's about to wrap up uh, we've got about a minute 42 seconds according to the uh, application here um, what I did do here is I I didn't back this uh, particular image up to the same location where I normally do uh, I inadvertently chose another backup storage device that I have it's called a SAS drive uh, so that's okay I mean I can move it and then uh, rearrange it um, but in the backup process I didn't notice when I was talking uh, here in the video that I had chosen the wrong one but that's okay uh, not a big deal this particular drive is a little slower it's a spinning drive it's a little slower than the uh, the other drive that I have um, and so it's what's well, taking a little longer to do the backup it typically takes about five minutes uh, for a normal system uh, for Farron uh, I have a one terabyte SSD uh, I'm not using obviously one terabyte uh, in my main PC here but uh, I do have uh, you know quite a bit of stuff in it but it only takes about five minutes all right so we're about to wrap up here it's got about 12 seconds left and it's found quite a few uh, files and directories now one thing I didn't mention is it does a main or, or a uh, total backup full backup if you will and then subsequent backups it does incremental until it completes the five and then it does uh, one full again on the sixth one uh, so it doesn't take as much time I had five already so that's why it's doing a full one alright so it's wrapping up this process and when it gets done uh, we'll get out of it and uh, wrap up this video um, I really like time shift I think time shift is a great uh, tool uh, to use uh, to do your backups daily um, it, it happens every morning at 8 o'clock uh, my system stays on 24 7 and so uh, it just comes up runs and shuts down just like any other backup procedure any other backup application that you have for Linux or Windows but time shift is a, is a great backup utility I think uh, one you need to check out go up on that website like I said check it out I think you'll enjoy it it is free obviously uh, open source and uh, so far it has not failed me I mean I've like I said I've done many backups I've done so a couple of restores maybe I would say four or five uh, so it's more than a couple but four or five backups uh, restores rather uh, of the system where I bork the system somehow and um, or needed to recover a file that I had uh, thrown away inadvertently and didn't mean to and I knew I had it on my system two days earlier I just restored it from two days earlier and there it was so it's a great tool to have uh, and uh, so this is about to wrap up I think um, it has to do some final cleanup and things of it that it does but you get the the picture uh, if it doesn't finish here in a few seconds I'll just go ahead and close out the video but anyway I hope this video was helpful um, go ahead and install time shift on your Linux system I think you'll like it uh, if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up on the video if you want to subscribe to my video this is the Linux Unix tech channel my name is data pioneer and uh, that will help support my my system and my channel uh, I've been a YouTube uh, channel creator now for a couple of years I've got 250 or so videos up on my channel uh, check me out and uh, I think you'll enjoy the videos I have and I think they'll be informative for you and useful for you as well so rather than have you sit here and watch the end of this process uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out the video so you have a nice day you take care uh, and we'll see you on the web bye bye